We now learn how to deal with division of powers of numbers. So to begin with, we'll look at the case of powers of the same base. And that would lead to the following formula. a raised to the power of m over a to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m minus n. In other words, we subtract the power which is on the denominator from the power on the numerator. We can also write this as a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n equals to a to the power of m minus n. These are both saying exactly the same thing. As a quick example of this, let's say we had to simplify 5 to the power of 4 over 5 to the power of 2. Then using this formula, we could state that that's equal to 5 to the power of 4 minus 2, which equals to 5 to the power of 2. Another example, which I'll write on the right-hand side here, we may be asked to simplify p to the power of 7 over p to the power of 3. Then using this rule, this would equal to p to the power of 7 minus 3, which would equal to p to the power of 4. Let's look at another example. Say we had to simplify 2 times p to the power of 4 times p to the power of 3, all of which is over p to the power of 2. Well, to simplify this, it's best to work in steps. To begin with, let's simplify the numerator as much as possible. We can see that everything is being multiplied on the numerator. And we can go ahead and state that this equals to 2 times p raised to the power of 4 plus 3. And all of that is over p to the power of 2. And the rule we use to write this p to the power of 4 plus 3 is the rule we saw previously for multiplication. Remember, that was a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals to a to the power of m plus n. This therefore equals to 2 times p to the power of 7 over p to the power of 2. Now that we've taken care of that, we can simplify further. And it's often a good idea to get rid of this 2 on the numerator. Indeed, it's important to realize that this is the same thing as 2 times p to the power of 7 over p to the power of 2. In other words, anything multiplying the numerator can just be taken out and set to multiply the entire fraction. Now we can see quite clearly that we can use the rule for division that we just learnt, and we can go ahead and state that this equals to 2 times p to the power of 7 minus 2. Finally, this is equal to 2 times p to the power of 5. And that is the final answer. Now, notice that the rule that we've seen so far for division, remember that was a to the power of m over a to the power of n equals to a to the power of m minus n, deals with powers of the same base. Indeed, we have a on the numerator and a on the denominator. But what happens when we're looking at division of powers of different numbers? Well, say we have a to the power of m over b to the power of n, then this cannot be simplified any further. There's no nice formula. Indeed, all we can write is that this equals to itself, in other words, a to the power of m over b to the power of n. And I'll just go ahead and box that formula like so. Now, although this formula isn't particularly exciting, it is nonetheless very important. For instance, if we were asked to simplify 2 times p to the power of 7 over q to the power of 5, then this formula, or this rule, is what tells us that this cannot be simplified any further. In other words, all we can actually state here is that this equals to 2 times p to the power of 7 over q to the power of 5. Since p and q are different bases, and there is therefore no rule for simplifying this expression. There is, nevertheless, one exception. If m and n are equal, then it leads to the following result. a raised to the power of m over b raised to the power of m. In other words, we have different numbers on the numerator and the denominator, but they're both raised to the same power, m. Then in that case, this will equal to 
a over b in parentheses, all of which is raised to the power m. And once more, I'm going to go ahead and box that result. And let's see how we can actually use this. Let's say we were asked to calculate or simplify without a calculator the following. 8 raised to the power of 5 over 4 raised to the power of 5. Now, without a calculator, although this is doable, this may be a little tricky. In any case, it would definitely be tedious. But we see here that we have two different numbers, 8 and 4 in this fraction, which are both raised to the same power, which is 5. Consequently, we can use this formula here, and we can go ahead and write that this equals to 8 over 4, all of which is raised to the power 5. But now, we know that 8 over 4 is equal to 2, so this becomes 2 raised to the power of 5, and we can get rid of those parentheses, that's equal to 2 to the power of 5, and 2 to the power of 5 equals to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which equals to 32. And we're done. And so that's how this formula can sometimes be really useful for simplifying expressions or even calculating expressions. And there we have it. And so those are the rules we have to know for division of powers of numbers. And that's it for this tutorial.